One of the most coveted prizes in poker awaits the winner of one of the most prestigious series in the game today. This is the Poker Masters. Welcome to Las Vegas and the Poker Go studio for final table coverage of event number one. I'm really going to wait longer than I play. And how about like this right off the bat, too. Ben Yu? All in and at risk with the ace nine against Shores King Jack. Everyone at the table except for David Pierce is really against Ben Yu here. <laughs> yeah, it should be trading. There's about an $8,000 pay jump. So. Pete's is rooting for me. He wants to punish you all longer. Wow. Wow, and how did Brock lay down Ace King there? <laughs> Reardon's doing our job for us. It's great. Here we go right off the bat. King, 9-8. You does have the Ace of Diamonds, but sure takes the lead on that flop. They really make you sweat. They do. For now, you needing an ace or a nine. Let's not find it on the turn. Every one of the table is rooting for no ace or nine. Five <laughs> outs, you see them on top of your screen. River's a four. Good game, guys. That'll do Enjoy. it for Ben Yu. Oh. Short stay. We didn't waste any time. Mr. Yu, he'll hop in event number two, no doubt about it. We talked to him before play. He said that's, that's on his mind, finishing that short of such a prestigious prize. Shore opens here with ace-queen, jack-10 of diamonds. That's what Wilson looks down at in the small blind. Blinds have gone up, 25k, 50k, 50k big blind ante. Hard to see, but that's John Reardon. There's a mask that coming. had in the yeah. hoodie. <laughs> Looks down at ace eight. With about 20 bigs. Pretty awkward. To start the hand. Awkward hand, awkward stack sizing. Have to be concerned about the small blind flat. All of it. He says the heck with it. I know. <laughs> Extremely aggressive all in. I think because Shannon Shore has opened so many pots at the start of this final table, he thinks that he can slide one through with Ace 8, but Shannon has the goods. One second. All in. All in. Wilson out of the way, and here we go. John Reardon all in and at risk with Ace 8 Oops. against Shannon Shore's <laughs> Ace Queen. Maybe. Still five to come. Sure, the My favorite. family's going to tell me I made a mistake. Significant chip <laughs> lead. <laughs> Not the first time. <laughs> My family would look up Shannon's address. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you go all in with Ace 8. I know. He opens. That's eight why. in the window. Mm -hmm. It's 8 7 5. Sure, now looking for a queen. Did I make a mistake, Bob? And oh, turns the queen. Weird and down to two outs. See him on top of your screen. Needs an eight to stay alive. Doesn't find it. It's another queen. Yeah. We say good game yeah, to John Reardon. You know who's not here? Which will come of no surprise. I have an idea. That would be Phil Helmuth. Mm, the 15-time yep. World Series of Poker bracelet. 15-time World Series of Poker bracelet. He's been challenged by everybody to come play these high rollers. Says, Says he's, he's gonna going do to do it. Never does it. Never, never he might shows. play one event a series. Max late reg. Perhaps he really just doesn't feel compelled to have to prove it to the world that he can beat high rollers. I don't blame him. Relax. Enjoy your Pop tarts and your Bitcoin latinum. Your Bitcoin latinums and your Sour Patch Kids. All the snacks you can handle. Your club sandwiches. Oh, so much food. And just collect bracelets. Yeah. De Stefano just calling here on the button with Ace Queen. Thanks, Ed. It's ten seven deuce with one diamond. Ten 
250. 250,000. Shore betting a sizable 250,000. Yeah, just on a pure bluff, as we can see, leveraging, applying maximum pressure as the chip leader. Putting De Stefano in a tough spot, who is not going anywhere, though, making the call. Yeah, kudos to De Stefano, just ace queen high off of an awkward stack size. Nine of diamonds on the turn, flush draw now for sure. This sort of turned equity could really now open the door for sure to try and get a semi bluff through, picking up that flush draw. 900,000 in the middle. Destefano with only 1.1 in his stack. All in? All of it. Just Beautiful. a snap full by Destefano. Like you said, door was open. Shore took advantage of the opportunity. And now Brent, the deuces. Just a no-brainer all-in, Jeff. Best hand in the game. No matter the stack size. Jaffe does have about 10 bigs. It all goes into the middle. Wilson with ace nine. Makes the call and here we go. Jonathan Jaffe, the one all in and at risk with a pair of twos up against Brock Wilson's ace nine. Big spot here, critical flip. Jaffe on the ropes, nine on the flop. Going to need a deuce, running cards to make a straight. Well, the turn is a five. Uh -huh. A little bit of life deuces for Jonathan Jaffe. Never loses. Looking for that deuce or for a four. Can he find it on the river? He cannot. Game, Ace on the river. Game, Say good uh -huh. game to Jonathan Jaffe out in fifth for $65,600. Yeah. Peters, king, queen of spades on the button. Time now for Brock Wilson. It's the King Six of Hearts. This is that's defendable off the short stack. And it comes King 8 5. Well, it looks appealing to Wilson. Could be quite the disaster. Never count out Mr. Wilson, Jeff. He's got that two pair draw, straight draw to go along with it. Certainly, we know this money is about to get in the middle. Peters bets them in. On. And Wilson will again run right into it. Peters, the king, queen, Wilson all in and at risk with the king six. Looking for a six. 
We're running cards to make a straight. Who are you rooting for? What do you think? I like you a lot, but like, you already <laughs> know David's gonna win. The guy just doesn't run bad. Look at him. We'll see. <laughs> Turn card. I'll take a five or an eight. It's the eight. Right, five or an eight. That's fair. You chopped yesterday, but you had the best yeah, chop. I did chop yesterday. Five <laughs> or an eight means a chop. Six means the outright win for Wilson. Anything else in his day is done. All right, good game, guys. It's a three on the river. We say good game to Brock Wilson out in fourth for $82,000, 82 points in the race for that purple jacket. Perhaps a sneaky contender here this series. I think so. One of the new kids on the block, Mr. Wilson, might be kicking himself for the shove with the ace three suited against this guy, David mm -hmm. Peters. Shore has been so aggressive from the small blind throughout the course of the day. Yeah, that's a great observation. He, I don't know if we've seen one limp where he has made it a little bit better than 3x on the majority of these instances from the small blind. The very beginning of the day, limped in with a couple of ace highs versus Brock Wilson. But since those, it's been all raising. Top pair for both. Stefano with the backdoor flush draw. Four on the turn. Shore turns to pair. All of a sudden, what looked like was going to be a chop pot. Shore has the opportunity to take a sizable chunk of chips from Destefano. Eight hundred K is the bet on the turn. And just precise sizing. If Destefano does make this call here with top pair, which I fully expect him to do, it sets up an almost perfect mm. river pot sized shove all in. Stefano does indeed make the call. And is in some trouble here. Two point seven million in this pot. Stefano with 2.3 million behind. And another difficult card for Destefano to get away from. Essentially would be chopping against all queens unless it's queen jack or better. All in. And he'll be faced with the decision for his tournament life here. Just 
pure agony right now for Destefano. You think about the draws that missed. Jack nine, jack eight, combination of backdoor diamond draws that nothing came home. All he can beat is a bluff. But it's top pair, so hard to get away from. Ten seconds. Short bet flop, bet turn. Fires it all in the river. Ten seconds. Wow. And DeStefano finds a terrific laydown. <clears throat> a tremendous fold given the nature of this three-handed battle. DeStefano, when he sees the replay, is going to be so happy that he went with his gut and his intuition there to get away from top pair. So difficult to do. Owen. Oh boy, and he's just going to run right into the jacks of David Peters. Still 32% equity. It's not over. But the timing never easy. a little off there. Peters in good shape to take a chip lead and a heads up. Stefano, the one all in and at risk, and it comes King eight seven with two hearts. Uh huh. See on the bottom left corner of your screen, it's about a flip. De Stefano for now, looking for a heart or a queen. Does not find it on the turn. Ten outs. See him on top of your screen for Dylan De Stefano to stay alive, or we're down to heads up play, and the river is the seven yeah, of clubs. Yeah. Dylan <clears throat> DeStefano, valiant effort by the 23-year-old. Good to see him in the mix here at the PokerGo studio. Out in third, $98,400. Oh, Just a young gun, 23 years old, originally from the state of Connecticut, now residing here in Las Vegas. Perhaps he is just getting started on his Poker Go Tour campaign. Mm -hmm. Great showing. So a bit first. unprecedented right. at our Poker Go majors, two. but because. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Could take two hand, two, three, four. Time. They want to get we into event number one, two. Got 5.15 or something? We're effectively declaring this fight a draw. Our first time in the history five, maybe yeah. of poker. Five, 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 we're, we're declaring this a draw. Yeah, so they can luck. split the money, show, about 176K one. apiece. Yeah. But there are still points at stake. So this is for the points. Here and we go. And a 57 point oh. difference between first and second. So they're all in blind. Peters runs for the hills with the, he has the six deuce. I'm not gonna you guys, I'm making Yeah. Tournament director Paul Campbell says, you guys are good to go. Shore has the 10-8. Deuce. Peters <laughs> looking for a six or a deuce. 205 points to first, 148 points to second. King on the turn. Can Peters find that six or find that deuce? He cannot. Yeah, I think you have They're pretty time. close. Here comes the final count. This will determine to make sure that our champion oh, is, in nine? fact, Shannon Shore. That's what we believe is the outcome. But again, it's a draw as far as the match is concerned. Yeah, However, the points four. towards the purple jacket four. total, if Shannon Shore yeah, four, nine, is the winner, will go eight. towards Shannon Shore for first place. Two, three, 45, 49. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. And there it is. Yeah. Quite the ending wow. to the Shannon Shore show. <laughs> 205 points, and Brent, he is in pole position in the race for the coveted purple jacket. There's a first time for everything, a draw. <laughs> yeah, and how about a first major board. title in event number one for Shannon Shore? Welcome aboard, Mr. Shore.